safe. Like nothing in this world could touch you. Then, it happened. And I ask myself, how do you feel now? Working on your memoirs again? Something like that. Let me see. It's not done yet. <clears throat> yeah, that's that's cute. That's that's real cute. Just just go ahead and you know proofread it for me. A young lady strides down a flight of wooden steps. She shoulders a backpack and a worn look about her. A bridge-like walkway next to a running stream. This would be the night it happened. Two men of the gruff variety pass her and with an immediate pause run their eyes across her backside. With little warning they dart toward the unsuspecting girl clawing away at her. Clawing? Does it do it for you? Her clothing rips open, ringing out like a burning flare, as if all hope were seared into ash. A shadow is then cast on the two. They spin to see a figure eclipsed by the light. The young lady makes a speedy retreat, and no sooner does the cloaked figure wage war on the faces of his prey. A superhero story. In novel format? That's... different. Doctor's orders. He told me to write, so I write what I want. Time for a break. Just a little while longer, alright? I really want to finish this chapter. That's what you said an hour ago. Well, and the hour before that. Well, it's a long chapter. Come on, I really want to do something. I get tired of wasting away in front of the television while you plug away at your novel. Babe, come on. Why don't we go out anymore? Listen, I can't take you out every night. I'm not asking for every night. I just would like to go out every once in a while. You know, it starts off being every once in a while, and then suddenly we're going out every night to, to someplace expensive like the Olive Garden. And just before you know it, I just lack the sufficient amount of money to afford concert tickets. Such as these. Oh. My God. Are these... These were like $200 a piece! Oh my God! No way. No way. No way. Alright, if you don't calm down, my dear, you're gonna squirt a little excitement on me. And frankly, I like this shirt. Then take it off. you. There are but a few superheroes who could even compare to Batman. I mean, he's the most realistic, but with the lack of superpowers. <laughs> That's cute. After an hour of borderline earth-shattering sex, you still talk about superheroes. Maybe I'll wear a cape and tights next time. You like a superhero stripper? And do a better job saving the day than your boy, the Batman. What? <laughs> Batman's a great read, but if translated into reality, he'd cause more harm than good. Oh, really? So what do you know about heroes? I've read a few comics in my day. Now, one of the few reasons I haven't left your ass. Explain this to me. Why is it every bastard hero I've read about... Both girl and guy refrain from killing off the bad guys. Because it takes true heroics to save both the innocent and the guilty. True stupidity. That sounds more appropriate. You want to know the truth about heroes. Most are just as bad as the villains. Here's the reality of it. Batman showed compassion. Which, yes, makes him the better man, but 
What did he do every time he caught a supervillain? He left them to be incarcerated. He sent them to Arkham. What the hell is that? It's to reform. I'll concede that yes, some do reform. And I'm not saying Batman should slaughter every criminal. Just the lost causes. Like the Joker. If Batman had just shoved a detonating battering up the Joker's ass and off him early on, then his former sidekick's life would have been spared. <sighs> Heroes are reckless in that they inadvertently hurt innocents and cause the greatest harm to the ones they love. <laughs> One enough? No, no fair! No fair! You're cheating! Too bad I win.